And when I made that post, mm -hmm. and so many people were, my friend Vaughn, I didn't even know he was a part of this whole trucking company. And he said, man, mm -hmm. he said, we're looking for trainers. I said, I haven't, I can't, I don't have no experience like that. I mean, yeah, I can re regurgitate what I already learned. I have been on the road, but I really got messed up driving for Mike because, like I said, he was driving dirt. And um, I really hate that. I wish I wouldn't have done that, but he was paying decent money. Yeah, that's so. That's that's the that, that's the trade off. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I know, I know. So I said, well, he said, I'm going to send you the trainer's application anyway because we got, we, I guess the state of Michigan is paying to send people to their trucking school, just like a lot of states are doing. And I told him, I said, well, you can send it to me. I don't know if they're going to approve me, but he said, it is easy. He said, I, I only drove for two years and was considered a trainer. I'm like, what? Only two years? Now you talking about you talking about a trainer for a trucking company or a trainer for a school? Right. That's a, no. He has a he has a school. They have a school. Oh, okay. So they can bring you in. They they can bring you in as a trainer at the school. Okay. 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 Right. Right. And I said, well, send me the application. I'll fill it out. We'll see what happens. Well, you I know, said, but that that might be, you know, mm -hmm. that might be something, you know. That, I mean, you know, it probably might not be nothing that yeah. you want, but it might be something to hold you yeah. over until, you know, in until you actually, right. you know, until you actually get into, um, uh, you know, get in, you know, get back into the truck fully. Right. I wouldn't even mind doing that. I thought I wouldn't mind doing that, and it's all sisters that. I, like I said, I had never heard of this place. I know where the building is, but I ain't never heard of this place in my life. And so um, I just was so, it's been so down, so frustrated. Um, I either, I don't, even when I apply for jobs, and I'm not talking about transportation jobs. I mean, just regular jobs. Of course, I have to go back to my regular resume. I had an interview with a company. And the girl interviewing me, she thought it could have been my daughter. She goes, uh, when did you get your master's degree? I said, in 97. She says, oh, wow, that was a long time ago. That's when I was born. That's really old. <laughs> yeah, I almost said, and you know what? I almost said, bitch, do you have one? Do you have one? <laughs> do I swear you, I almost Do you said have that. one? <laughs> Right, and I'm thinking, I already knew by then I wasn't going to get the job. And the thing is, I, I've i been in management. I know how management, that's why I say the IRS, they petty. I learned a lot of stuff from them white folks working up in there. Them the white folks that run up their credit, go file bankruptcy, go turn around and get a yacht, a boat, cars. You know, black folks just now catching on the business credit. They've been doing it forever. <laughs> so what I did was, in 98, I opened up my own consulting company. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't do taxes, but I help people. Because I did have an insider's look. And I help people get their stuff together as far as getting your, your paperwork. These are certain apps you can use. You know, you can't write off everything. You can write off quite a bit of stuff. And so it was really just word of mouth. I didn't advertise nothing. Mm -hmm. I just, just, you know, somebody told somebody, told somebody else, even now. But that's not a steady thing. You know what I'm saying? And I always, like I told a guy the other day, he called me, and I, I asked him, he said, well, Liz, I have my LLC and, you know, I said, but do you have a business bank account? Hmm. Well, no. I said, well, what do you have an LLC for? Then I have one client who is three of them on an LLC, but his daughter is, um, his daughter is only 20. Mm -hmm. And they're using her credit, because you know, even with business credit, sometimes they, you do have to 
if you're new and they're not a new business. If you knew, if you knew, if you're a new business, they they use your person. They're they, going to ask for your use, personal. They use right. your personal before they're going to use your they're going to use your business credentials, but they're going to use your personal right. part of that to establish the, the credit. Exactly. Exactly. So he he called me. Um, and he was like, Liz, is that you? I said, yeah, that's me. He said, damn, why you ain't tell me you needed some money on Facebook? And I said, well, I didn't even want to put that, but I did. So, you know, I just needed help. I help everybody else, so it's my turn. So, um, but yeah, people don't, and I'm saying white folks because as a black person, we just now learning this. We'll run a business on a leg and an arm and credit be fucked up. And then you want to expand, but you can't. And you wondering why the Arabs across the street is doing what they do. So I, I, I help people like that. And, and like I always tell them, I told my clients the other day, you got about 90 different addresses on your credit report. You need to dispute them. You need to have them removed. Do you live there? No, no. A lot of that was, I don't even know what it is. Why are they on it? But a lot of our people don't know or don't take the time to read. That's what's up, man. Well, I am so sorry that you're that you're going through, you know, going through all of this. And hopefully, you know, you, you said at least by Wednesday, uh, Wednesday. What, yeah. what is what what you got going on Wednesday? Like, well, on Wednesday, UPS. Now, this is the thing about that. I went into the test drive. Mm -hmm. I did this over a month ago. Mm -hmm. they, I, why they gave me a new med card? I don't know. So um, they go, oh, you got the job. No problem. Mm. Okay. All right. I've been sitting, waiting, waiting, waiting. Then they call me and go, well, we have another position open where you could be a helper on the brown truck. I said, I don't want to be no damn helper. On the brown truck? Deliver yes. Okay, so you, you going on, out on, on, the, the on, on, the, on the brown delivery truck with somebody to That's help? That's what they... That's what they want me to take, but I. Hey, they they dropped you from drop driving a driving a uh, a tractor trailer to yes. riding as a yeah ri riding as and a I'm helper in a brown why. truck. I'm gonna tell you why he he goes. It's because we don't have enough people to train to take you out. Wow. I said, sir, I already been out, but I understand that you know company policy negates this. I understand. I don't mind it. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll take it. And then get this. They told me they're going to call me every day at 7 a.m. and say if they need me or not. Mm. So I'm like, you know what? I got to find something else. This is yeah, killing you, me. Yeah, this you, you got to yeah, yeah, you, you, you gotta, you gotta keep putting it in. And for the people that say, for the people that say that, Nobody out here wants to work. Here's a young lady that's literally looking for a job mm -hmm. that got her CDL, mm -hmm. and she's going through all this mm -hmm. while everybody yeah. else out here that don't want to work, and here's somebody that do want to work and got a problem of getting the job. I'm yeah. not. I'm. I'm not understanding this. This. This correlation that's going on right I'm here. I'm telling you. It is, it we, is we got people horrid. out here that's looking for jobs that's that that can't get the jobs that they're looking for, but yet we got people out here that says that there's that that there's no jobs out here. What's up? I'm 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 telling you. Now I'm I can you. I, 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 I can understand you know like me personally like if I was in that if if I was in a situation, of course I'm not gonna go and look for a fast food job. I'm just not gonna do that. Even right. e even if that's the last job on the fucking earth, I'm still not going into fast food. I've been there, done that, and don't want to do it again at my age. I'm cool. 
All right. So if well, y'all want to come to me and say, well, there's fast food jobs out there. You just don't want it. Then, yes, <laughs> I don't want it. That's me saying I don't want it. I'm not saying that there's no jobs out there. I'm just saying I don't want it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is concentrate on my field as long as I still as long as I still have them now, for whatever reason, I don't have my CDL no more, then, yeah, I will have to see what's available. Take what you can take. Take what right. I can take. But here's you, CDL, and all, tankers, doubles, triples, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and you, you calling out to all of these companies. That's not even mm -hmm. that 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 claims that they're looking for drivers, mm -hmm. but they mm -hmm. they they giving you they giving you all this shucking all shit because mm -hmm. of, the, of, the, of, the, of the lacks of the experience that you got. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. I went and took a test drive. I had to drive up to Canton, Michigan. And it's about uh, I don't know forty five minutes away. It was A and D Express, right? So. Me and my uncle, this was about, it's been about three weeks ago. Me and my uncle go up there, and he used to be a flatbed driver. And this was back in the day when you didn't have to have no CD because he just had his chauffeur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know how long ago that's been. Mm -hmm. So we get up there, and he was like, okay, well, you got that. I said, well, I ain't worried about it, you know. All they do is have you drive straight back, that's it. So I go up there, I took a test drive, we... I did. I don't. I don't live in Canton, so I don't know the roads. But you know, we did. I, I did fine. Me and the guy was talking. Then he asked me to pull over. I thought I had did something wrong. He said, "Well, pull over to the right." And what are you supposed to do when you pull over to the right? I said, "Well, well no matter if you're pulling over to the right or the left, you got to put your hazards on." Right. So he was like, "Okay, okay." So we get on. We drive and we drive and we go and get back to the to the lot. And he goes, "Oh yeah, you did real good. You did really good, but." You know, you just don't have that much experience. So you, you got to have about six months. Then why did you take and me I out? Said, okay. I almost said that, but I didn't even say. Why? Why did you I take? Said, why? Why did you take me out? If you was just gonna go ahead and waste my time and tell me that, oh well, you don't have enough experience. Then why did you take me they out? They all. I feel like they all do that. They all do that. They don't even. Give why? You why are you wasting my time? Why? Why are you wasting my time? Why? Why? Why are you doing that? Why? Why you do that? <sighs> That's crazy. I'm telling you, they all do that. It's just it's so stupid. Why? Like I t like I told that young brother today, um, because he was you know people was high fiving him. I said, oh yeah, that it's wonderful that you passed, brother. But I'm getting ready to tell you because they had pictures of um Swift. Of course, they had Knight. Um, their little. Stuff they was passing out. I said, I'm going to tell you right now what somebody told me. It was an old head that told me. Mm -hmm. He said, when you graduate, you check out the reviews of some of these companies. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like everything else. You got to get out there and get your experience. He said, but you start talking to other drivers. He said, and, and just because one driver had a bad experience, don't mean you won't. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be the same. He said, however, just look at the reviews. I'm like, okay. But I had, but even when I seen that sister driver, I still sat around. I still was like, okay, I'm following people on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I used to always watch Trucker Brown, him and his brother. Mm -hmm. And um, even Clarissa Rankin, mm -hmm. PH. I used to follow all of them before I even got my CDL. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I got to do something because I'm not old old but i'm not old enough for full retirement see when i get 65 yeah i'll be getting about 3500 a month but i ain't there yet you know you you mentioned you 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 mentioned uh those youtubers that you mentioned how how do you yeah. uh, you know after you know after getting inspiration from them at that mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. that time what's your mm -hmm. what's your feelings about them now do you still watch them oh yeah i still i was just on ph's instagram the other day he went live and he was came up north he's in well he was in chicago I, you know i still feel the same i just kind of some of them are not maybe doing what 
what they used to do. Like, I don't see uh, uh, Tucker Brown. I mean, I be seeing him around Las Vegas, but I don't never see him in no trucks no more. So I'm wondering, okay, well, what's going on? But I don't watch him as much as I do the other truckers, especially the women. And it was a lot of women that really reached out to me when I was even going through trucking school because I was going to quit. I was like, shit, yeah, this is too much to learn. And and they was like, especially the, the group, the women group, now uh don't quit. You can do this. You got that. But but I still follow some of them. But, I, you know, a lot of stuff I take with a grain of salt. Because you have some YouTubers out there that don't really tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. They may show you the money or they're doing this, that, and the other. And I guess maybe it's because of my background. I worked for the federal government. I know how they work. So, but I'm still glad they're out there to show some things. But it, it, I'm just telling you, it's, when I got out here, it just is not like I feel the discrimination. You know, I would hear people when I was younger talk about it, but I feel it. But as far as the YouTubers, because I even watch you, I watch you, I watch your channel, um, and I had been watching you for a long time. Oh, thank and I'm gonna you. tell you somebody else I was watching. Um, I still watch him every now and then. He got a girlfriend now. Um, Red Viking Trucker. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 him and, uh, him, him, actually, him and his girlfriend is married now, so. Oh, they married, okay, because I knew, because I had talked to him, uh, even before I started, and he, he told me, he said, start looking around. With, uh, Red Viking yeah, Trucker? Yeah, yeah, we, long time ago, and he said, well, I want to interview, I said, but I ain't did nothing yet, wait till I get. Okay. How was the how was the conversation between you and him? It was pretty good. It was just real basic. This was before the girlfriend, because I remember he was on YouTube when they, when she first got on things on change, and he started laughing. He sent back a laughing emoji. <laughs> but I'm happy for him. But um, yeah, it was it was really uh, you know he had a lot of good ideas. He was just. Pretty much everybody has told me to, you know, when I first went out, you know, be careful, watch for this, watch for that. But I kind of, you know, how you, you meet certain people and you can tell their energy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can feel how they are or test them out. So, and I just, I, the way I was raised, I just, can't, I can't take no shit. I ain't going to take no shit. You know, but I just felt so vulnerable. And I said, I cannot sit up here and not do nothing. I just, I felt embarrassed. I felt bad. But I literally, when I came home in April, April the third, or 13th, I'm sorry. I immediately went to my dad's house and I had been staying with him. I got my own house, but I had stayed with him. And when I got the word, from my other siblings that he had cancer, I'm like, oh, okay. And I've always been the most responsible one. Uh, it's always a sibling or two who going to take care of everything. So I, um, they took care of him. I, I, I wasn't going to put him in a home. I refused to. I changed diapers, did it all. And when it got to the end, he told me, he said, baby, if it wasn't for you, I don't know what I would have done. So, um, I sat around, you know, I had my dental surgery because what it was, I had, I had a partial in the top mm -hmm. and because I have lupus, my gums have shrank. So I ended up having to get 10 teeth pulled, right? Mm -hmm. That was the worst thing I could have ever went through in my life. So now I'm in the process of, of getting implants, which I had previously paid for back when I was working, but by taking care of my dad, I just didn't have time. Right. And just, you know, it was, just, I would hate to leave him. It was always a crisis. Plus, he was a diabetic. And it just was so much going on. And, you know, I, mentally, I was just tired. Physically, just tired, run down. Um, matter of fact, I lost so much weight because I wasn't eating properly. 
you know, you're taking care of an elderly person around the clock by myself. So um, I had told my oldest daughter the other day, on the 8th was her birthday. She turned 25, and I just broke down. I told her, I got to get back to work. I got to get out here. I said, because, see, my husband, when he passed away, Mm -hmm. we used to have a company here in Flint called McDonald Beer, right? Mm -hmm. And he worked for McDonald Dairy for well over almost 15 years. But I didn't know, because he didn't communicate, mm-hmm. that he had his IRA, he had um, took all the money out. Mm-hmm. And I just had a small policy on him, just enough to put him in the ground and get a head count. So Good morning, y'all. he never lived, uh, what I should say is he didn't believe in saving. So it was always a, a, a argument between him and I. And then I was the one end up raising my daughters, you know, doing, I, I didn't done it all by myself because they were small. Mm-hmm. So I told my daughter the other day, I said, this is, this is going to be the death of me. I have to find a job. I even went to the cab company, right? Mm-hmm. He goes, oh, we have positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not the app. Then he goes, oh, but now we're changing over to where you have to use your own car. I said, what? I don't know no cab company beyond Uber that you have to use your own car or Lyft. And I told him, you know what, sir? Thank you, but no. And so he called me back today. Well, well, do you want that job that pays $8 an hour? I said, no, sir. I'm not interested. But yeah, it's been kind of rough. It's been kind of rough. Well, and I'm like, I'm just gonna have to get on back out here. Well, I got you. I I got you in my prayers. I got you in my uh. Thank you. I, you know, I got you in my prayers and everything. You know, definitely get back I out appreciate there. Appreciate it. You know, uh, if definitely you need to talk or something like that, I am always here. And uh, all you know, right, you always, on the roll right we now? Can always get it in. Uh, no, but I just got my, uh, I just got my load assignment just about five okay. minutes ago while we was on the phone. So, uh, now do you drive, you on operator or you drive for a company? No, I'm a company driver. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a company oh, driver. Oh, I ain't mad at you. Nah, I ain't mad at nah, you. I have, you know, I haven't, uh, I have no thought, I have no aspirations of being, uh, being an owner operator. Me either. At least not right now anyway. Um. But yeah, but like I said, just uh, just keep at it, and like I said, just I know, just know that you. And I'm gonna lock in your number. Oh yeah, you you just know that you have to um, go back out training and all like that, and don't yeah, let and don't and don't I let know. nobody discourage you, man, because you know, like you said, all the all the YouTubers out here that's that's telling one thing, but this and doing another. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't don't let it right. don't let it discourage you. You you'll be all right. You'll be good. I ain't. All right. Well, thank you. I'm glad we talked. All right. You take it easy, and I'll holler back at you if you had another one. All right. right. Okay. Bye-bye. Yep.